What's up? I'm Cautious Clay, and Karma and Friends is the shit you should be listening to. And I'm gonna share my screen with you now. Something about the way you Wait, how do I share my screen? I'm a fucking old ass motherfucker with this shit. Hey everyone, my name is Jeremy Morrell. And I'm Tom Austin. This is Screen Sharing, uh, a digital interview series where we sit down and screen share with our favorite artists. Today we're being joined by the multi-talented and inimitable Cautious Clay. Yes. Hello. What's up? Thank Thanks you for, for coming. Yeah. Okay, I'll jump right in. So, it's great to have you here. I want to talk about you back in the day when you were a little kid. I want you to tell us about the time you saw that spark in yourself of like i want to play music i want to be a musician all that yeah i mean i i got involved not even really because of music i was really into aladdin at the time and like there was a scene where a flute player was playing like a gourd instrument and i was just like whoa you know like this is something you know like something about this was just so interesting to me and i gravitated towards the flute and i don't even think it was a flute but I thought it was a flute and uh yeah i was seven years old and then my mom was like well you know maybe you should we should get you in lessons and i was kind of like great yellow tinted lenses in a pink gelato Falling out the window, hit me back tomorrow We'll always be the one tough fact to follow Cause we aiming for the stars. Your biggest hit so far was the first song that you released yeah. as Cautious Clay where you sang on Cold War. Mm -hmm. Do you ever feel like you're chasing after the success of Cold War? Um, I... I definitely feel that sometimes. I feel like uh, seeing that song kind of go the way it did, I think was a blessing because I think if it was any bigger, it could have been like really hard for me to like feel like I had a voice as an artist. And like, I, I genuinely know a lot of artists who are incredibly talented, who are, who are just put in this bubble because they just have this song that's like a monster. And they're just like, oh, well, well like, what am I supposed to do with this? And it's still like cool that people like it, but I just I just don't really concern myself with with like trying to like milk it for what it's worth, if that makes sense. Like I'm constantly just like progressing, I think as an artist, like I'm trying to, you know? And and so it's cool, but I'm also kind of like, I'm moving on, you know? Yeah. But I'm also like, I'm glad you like it, but I'm, I'm not the same person I was in 2017, so. Come on. I'm very excited about the new album coming out. Thank it's you. It's going to be huge. So uh, do you want to tell us about the single that you have out, um, Karma and Friends? What what really like brought you the, to that story of the lyrics and the music? How did you put it together? Yeah, so it's it's a really interesting process because like that phrase to me i was always just like wow like this is just a funny phrase like it's not like a revolutionary idea but i think like the I, like really the point of the song is like you know the friends or the people that you surround yourself with oftentimes can like really determine your karma or like your overall like mental health or well-being and i and i wanted to sort of like 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 lyrically express that but also just like sonically kind of like feel like there's this like really rich kind of blanket of sound around you. Surrounding yourself with good people is half the battle, you know? That's the truth. That's the truth. I'm in cruise control like the flow sense of space and time. Blue skies, no shade. I mean, one of your fans seems to be John Mayer, right? Yeah. yeah. So that's a, that's certainly a fan, uh, a fan and a friend for sure. And a friend. Yeah. 
for sure. Yeah, he's he's a funny guy. He's really um really smart and really thoughtful. Um, he'll like send me shit sometimes. Like I have this knife that he gave me. That's like it's like yeah, we'll get him next year. And it's just like John, and then it just has like he just like gets me shit, and I'll send him shit. We're just kind of like friends, you know. We'll just like I'll send him songs. Yeah. We were seeing uh, this instagram live that he did with you as a musical guest can i watch this watch this my next guest <laughs> is a fantastic writer producer engineer songwriter pro- artist performer here to perform his song cold war it's the one and only cautious clay ladies and gentlemen <laughs> the show Show, I tell you. Yeah. <laughs> it's nice. It sounds nice on Instagram. It sounds so good for something that you put out on an iPhone, just like yeah. recording it right there. Yeah. So what's going on here? Great stuff, man. <laughs> See, here's now why. See. Yeah. So we um, um we were like he had just gotten this like. Like, printer gun thing uh, and he uh, like tour. he wanted to test yeah. it out and uh, it was just like this uh, funny process of us testing out this like printer gun that yeah. he had just gotten oh yeah man got myself that handheld printer may i yeah let's do it let's do it uh let me start oh, it yeah, up yeah. oh wow hold on i got it. there it goes hold on then oh there we go oh that came out oh. do me do me now <laughs> hold it down okay Hold the button down and just swipe it. Oh wow, with this button? Yeah, just hold it. Holy shit, this is fucking crazy. No, 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 it's already done. You just have to. There you go. Oh, 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 oh. See? Ooh. I think you got a little more. Yeah, left. one more. Do you have your old stuff on your laptop, like old projects that you've been working around that you might not have released or? Hmm. Yeah. I mean, I'm working on a side project right now, but I'm like kind of be on the low about it. Um, mm-hmm. Because I'm kind of just like. I'm trying to make it a whole thing, you know, like really build it out and just like make it a fucking fun ass thing, you know, just like. You want to test it out on us? Ah, shit. I mean, fuck it. I mean, who cares anymore? Let me see. Hocus pocus. Let me see about this. uh... I feel like Oprah and the Meghan Markle interview. I know, know, right? (laughs) Like yes. nobody even cares, but I'm just gonna I'm getting a freak out <laughs> about it. Like, oh my god, I can't shoot this. Damn bro, I'm fucking drunk. Oh yeah, what you trying to get into? Shit, I don't know. You wanna have a mental breakdown today? So yeah, I mean, what do you call that? Chaotic good. I have so go. many emotions. Wow, I feel like it's the scene. <laughs> it's not. It's not like yeah. It's definitely like more punk shit. It's like uh, there's also some like funkier shit that I'm releasing. It's all under the same name, but it's. I just couldn't like put that out as cautious clay. You know what I mean? Like I feel like that would just be a complete miss. You know? Yeah. And it's not because like I couldn't, but I just know that that I got it would just be like. It would be on deaf ears, you know. It'd just be like, "Oh, yeah, this is like not," I do. you know. So, whatever. And I, I understand okay. that. And I also like to make other shit. So fuck it, right? You know. Like, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I think fuck it. My name is Cautious Clay, and I want to thank y'all for letting me share my screen with you. <laughs>